Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Arc Aberration. And um, I'm assuming you saw that thing right behind me. This is actually called the Easy Tech Crafter. I was looking around at some stuff we should do. And one of the things I want to get into eventually is um, S Plus uh, tech stuff and the normal tech stuff. Um, partially because of this thing right here, uh, the mutator. And it lets me um, be able to like breed um, uh, with rock drakes and other things that are not breedable, as well as put mutations on things. And I thought that was a very, very cool thing we should definitely try out because I really want to breed the rock drakes and the carcanos. And um, I think basilisks aren't breedable, as well as I think the reaper kings. So there's several creatures in this game in Aberration that are not breedable. So I think it'd be a very, very fun thing to mess around with. Um, and I was looking, and I know that um, tech is a very big grind on here, unless you defeat the boss. Um, you need, like, eight charge batteries and a bunch of element ore and all this other stuff. And uh, I was looking, and um, I could definitely do that. The only issue is there's a lot of time because of the charge nodes. And so S Plus actually added this thing called a element, oh, there it was, element catalyzer. And uh, you need to actually unlock the railgun first to be able to make it. And it, it basically takes the cooldown time and just gets rid of it. And so I can craft as much elements as I want with the same amount of materials. I just don't have to wait 20 minutes in between each craft because I'm definitely not going to do that. Um, the only issue is to get that. Uh, where is it? Um, element. Oh, element. Yeah, yeah right here, element catalyzer. You need elements to craft it. Okay. And so you can get element from this thing, Easy Tech Crafter. The only thing I don't like is it's really cheap. 20 metal and 20 polymer for one element is super cheap. And I don't know, I don't think I really like that. I feel like that takes out the whole grind. I mean, maybe after we do a bunch of grinding to get, like, basic stuff, maybe then I'll use this to get tech. Um, but I want to at least have that, that initial bit where I've got to grind. So, I mean, I spent some time today going down to the radiation, and I got a bunch of red gems, and... Uh, Got a bunch of green gems and blue gems, and uh, I've got charge batteries, a bunch of them right here, that I was actually going to put in this, uh, the charge node right by someone's base, um, let them start to charge up, because they take quite a while. And so I was thinking about doing some of that stuff, just so we can get the initial grind done um, for the basic charge, and then maybe once we do some of that, we'll head over and transition over to this. Um, but for now, one of the things we still need to be able to... Um, get elements the main thing you need to get elements in the power nodes on aberration is you need to get uh, element ore the place you get element ore is on the surface and as you can see in the top left corner the time right now is six o'clock um, and so it'll be dark soon if not now and so we're actually going to go head over to the surface that's why i've got our hazard suit here and as long as it's not um as long as it's not flaming, we can actually go out in there, and there should be, like, some su surface kings and stuff. And so we'll be able to do some, definitely some grinding and stuff. And I think where we have to go is over, oh, kind of in the right spot. We've got to go to, like, the corner of the map. And so I think I know where I'm going. Um, possibly I don't. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to go head over to the surface, and once I find the entrance for the surface, I'll bring you guys right back. So, uh. So you guys in. I mean, for you guys, it's going to be 10 seconds. For me, it'll be a little bit longer. Less than 10 seconds for you guys. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here we are. I believe this is actually the surface entrance right here. I think this is what we're supposed to take. Um, I'm not exactly sure. But it looks like this is definitely some sort of surface-like area. We're going to head up here. And I don't know if there's actually ready... Oh, yep, this is the surface. Here we go. So I don't know if there's actually radiation here. That's why I put the radiation suit on. I thought there was, but I don't know if, it does, if there's radiation at night. And I guess there's supposed to be lots and lots of Reaper Kings, I guess, up here. Oh, yep. There they are. So let's kill these guys. Oh, man, they do a lot of damage. Oh man, there's one. Oh, get out of the acid. Oof. There's another one killed. And that's the element ore right there. So that's what we need to actually harvest. 
There's lots of Reaper Kings, though. We gotta worry about. Jeez. They do a ton of damage to me. Get out. Abort. Abort. Oh, man. That is a ton of damage. I was at, like, full when I came in. <clears throat> so, the surface is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought that we've got the good rock drake. I thought we'd be fine. But, man, that reaper did a lot of damage. Let's go ahead back. Oh, it took some damage. That's weird. All right. Hopefully, there is a... All right. We still got plenty of Hopefully, there is a... Plants we should see. Looks like right down there, maybe. I can barely see. Turn my gamma a little bit. There we go. We gotta find a plant species Z somewhere. So we can actually heal up fully. Once we do that, we can go head back up there. So I'll find a plant species Z and I'll head right back up there. And I'll be right back. Because um, I don't know exactly know where a plant species Z is. All right, guys, we're back on the surface, and I actually just found this uh, awesome teleporter here, which is actually called Topside. So I guess we've got a teleporter for up here. Then I also found this um, explorer note right here. There we go. I don't know what it is. It looks like. They weren't exaggerating when they said the surface was dangerous. <laughs> yes, it is. Direct exposure to sunlight during the day will quickly burn a human to a crisp, even in this fancy armor, the tech. That means we have to adjust our sleep schedules and wait just below the surface until night falls. When it does, we'll make a mad dash for the obelisk, let Santiago get in as much work as he dares, then run our bad word back to safety. Uh, strength. I thought that bloody desert was diabolical, but this tops it for sure. Why couldn't we do something simple like flee from a pack of ravenous Allosaurus or something? This life is lead, I swear. So uh, that's part of the whole story about what they actually had to do to aberration or do an aberration. But there are a lot of these. Jeez. There's a lot of uh, surface kings here. Come on. Come on. You know you want to die. What, what level is this one? Level 100, jeez. At least this one didn't attack. Get out of the- Oh, acid. No. That's what you want to stay out of. What level is this one? And we do a lot of damage. Level 5, alright, good. Alright, now let's see if we can make a quick dash right here for some element. Oh, there's another one. Come on. I love this one. Two more. 15. All right, that one I can deal with. I love that one. 10. All right. Both able to be deal dealt with. Get out of the acid. Come on. These things are pains. All right, we're good now. Yes? Let's give myself some more health. Are we good? Yes. Come on. Throw all the element ore. This is what we're going to need a, a ton of. Oh, come on. Get back in line. Let's put the element ore on. We'll drop the metal and the stone. So all I really care about is the element ore. Grab as much of this as I can carry on my... Um... Um, 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 rock drake. Oh, come on. Do not like being off the rock drake. That scares me. How am I doing on weight? Okay, I'm encumbered. Alright, that's all I can take. I'm gonna head over to... Oh, I can't jump. Um, what can I drop? Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Am I not heavy now? Okay, good. I just want to explore this surface a little bit see this this is the obelisk oh there's a drop there there's actually like normal surface drops huh i mean it makes sense we are they are coming down from the surface but here's one of the obelisks i guess this is oh gosh another surface king 
They are everywhere. Man. You guys are pains. Leave me alone. Why can't I attack? Don't cocoon me, you jerk. You jerk? Ow. Thank you. Man. Alright, so those things are pains. Um, I don't have to deal with those much else. Alright, so... Looks like... That's just the obelisk. It's purple now. I don't know if there's three of those or not. I don't know if there's still three, but this one looks like it's all demolished and destroyed. Okay, we're just gonna run from all Reaper Queen Kings from now. Uh, I don't want to deal with any more of them. I just want to see what's... I just want to explore. Well, it's still dark out. Because I know that once it becomes daytime, I guess it actually will light on fire. Like, I, that's what I've heard, is that the floor will actually light on fire. fire and that's when you will get scorched. Like what we just saw in that... Um, in that explorer. Mode. But I wonder how high you can actually go. I just want to take, look, take a look at this. I mean, look at how pretty that is. So there's no radiation. It means I can take this thing off real quick and get some screenshots because this is really cool. Take some screenshots of this. There's a screenshot. All right, we got a couple of those. Um, I'm nervous without this on, so we're going to put it right back on because I don't want to die or something. But it's cold. I mean, look at I'm freezing. But I just want to get some pictures or some screenshots of that because that is a very, very cool image. All right, we are going to head back. I think into the back to base. We've got all the element we need. Come on, let me go. Let's go. Goodbye, service reapers. You guys are annoying. All right. So as once we get to safety, I mean, I know I said I don't want to use um, awesome teleporters to get me out of dangerous situations. So once I get myself safe, safely away, I will use the awesome tel teleporter just so I can save some time and get back to base. Um, all right, this is a safe spot. Let's head back to the base. And then we, I will, um, I think I'll actually we'll head over to uh, community center. Why can't I move? Okay, there. All right, we'll head over to community center, I believe. I think I can show you what requirements are for crafting the element there. Um, oh, man, I'm out of stamina. Alright, so we'll head over to the community center. And I'll just show you guys, there should be like a um, node, a crafter node, right around there. Um, Alright, now that we're out of the zone, we can look back on our flak. There. Looks like some work's being done over there. Alright, so let's go check this out. Um, yeah, I see the node right over there. Right here. Let's see what is in. Let's see what the exact requirements are. So, exact requirements for this cra crafts three elements at a time. You need 50 congealed gas balls, eight charge batteries, 15 blue gems. Oh no! What are you doing? Okay, good. You, yeah, kill him for me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Back to where were we? All right, so 15 blue gems, eight charge batteries. That's why I've got 20, is so I can charge them up, and then I can craft um, eight times three. I'm gonna need to make four more, so I can make nine elements at a time. But I mean, you can see how quickly this this drains it because a powered on you need the powered on station, and that's where the cooldown comes in. It drains the station completely when you craft the element. Um, you need red gems, uh, green gems, blue gems, gas balls, element ore, which we've got a bunch of right now, and charge batteries. And that crafts three at a time. And so in order to, for me to make something simple, like the tech replicator, um, I need a hundred element. Yeah. So that's where it gets very, very expensive. And that's where I think having that easy tech crafter might come in handy. Um, I definitely, I, I don't want to just completely avoid the whole grind. So maybe, maybe I'll also do something where like, you know, I got to, I gotta get some of this stuff and then I'll just throw it all away and I'll craft enough for, you know, like in the easy tech crafter. I'll do something like that. I don't wanna just kinda cheat the system entirely with the easy tech crafter. I mean, I know we've got it in here, but you know, it just, it doesn't seem like something. I mean, 
I mean, Aberration intended us to use it like that, and so I think I'll end up doing that. Maybe we'll just use the Catalyzer and just get all the resources, just skip the cooldowns. Um, but it's so expensive to craft, and really it's just a pain. Um, whose base is this? Anale. All right. Wasn't sure what this big blue bubble was for. Must be testing something. Whose base is over here? Teddy's. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head back to base, I think. We'll drop off a lot of that element ore. And um, I won't do anything right now tech-related. For a little bit, I just wanted to start preparing myself. Um, I still want to do some more. I mean, we haven't really tamed a high-level basilisk. We have to check those out. Or we still haven't tamed a Reaper King. That's something I'm very, very excited to do is a Reaper King. Because they are um, difficult, to say the least, to tame. Um, because you don't really even tame them. You have to... Um, 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 what's the word? You have to get impregnated by the queen. So, or what am I doing? Tank's in the way. Get out of the way, tank. All right, so I will uh, transfer all this stuff off. And um, actually, I want to show you guys. I've started to uh, do spinos. I'm just going to let my two spinos breed and let the hatchery pick up the eggs. I'm just going to do that for a while. Um, eventually, yes, I'm going to want to take on Rockwell uh, again here for real. And so we're going to use Spinos to do that because they're pretty much the most powerful creature on Aberration at this point. And um, I've got some pretty good leveled ones. So I'll probably be using those and maybe a Rock Drake for me to just be able to get around on. But we've got a bunch of gas balls uh, right here. Um, and I actually took and made two more uh, gas collectors for these two ones down here that we never actually did. I've been taking gas balls from the ones across the map. So now I don't have to go as far. Um, I'll probably put these charge batteries in, uh, the charge nodes. So, we checked out the surface today, which is pretty cool. Actually, I want to, I want to hatch this one right now. I want to see what level we get, if it's a good level. So, we should get pretty, pretty good levels, because, well, we should, should. Um, and I can't wait to see if we can actually breed these things eventually with the... Mutator. Let's go ahead over to. Wait, this thing's gonna hatch and like. Oh, just hatch. There we go. 188. That's actually a very good level. Did I just get a mutation? I mean, no. All right. So this is my male. Oh. All right. We'll just use it as a higher level um, instead. And I mean, we're gonna be keeping all the spinos and having to put them somewhere eventually. So uh, we'll just do that. But disable wandering for now. And eventually we're going to have to do some uh, imprinting just to make them even better or maybe set up a nanny to do so. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, we took a look at the surface, which I think is very, very cool. That purple obelisk looks very, very cool. It's just it's a little bit more deadly than I thought it was going to be. Um, like where I was scared the entire time, but Clencher, uh, the entire time I was there. We were able to get 500 element ore, but I mean... That's enough for, takes 20 to make three. I mean, we can make a decent amount with that. It's just the grind and the charge and all that stuff. So, um, I'll see. Part of me wants to just take the easy way out and just use an easy crafter that I found in our mod pack. Um, part of me wants to at least maybe, I'm definitely going to do some of the, um, the real way that they wanted us to, uh, just by running around and using different charge nodes. And eventually we'll be taking on the boss. And once we do that, we can unlock the railgun as well as the um, elements, um, what's it called, catalyzer, which would make it a whole lot quicker for us to, like, what does it say, the element catalyzer, catalyzer, it says, crest element requires direct contact with liquid element to function, it's the same as the charge node except there's no cooldown, meaning, yeah, same, same thing, just no cooldown, meaning that I can do it a whole lot quicker, um, so I'll see. This, this is very appealing because, I mean, look at it. I'm, I'm not going to make any, but right now, if I wanted to, I could make... How much can I actually pull? Enough for 120. I can make 120 element right now because I've got enough organic polymer and metal ingots, and those are all super easy to craft up. So that just... That's why I'm not sure what I should do. Um, I definitely... I'm going back and forth. Uh, part of me wants to do this thing completely legit, but then again, I am on a modded server, and so this kind of is legit in our own modded way. So, uh, I'll see. I'm definitely enjoying this series. The surface was a very cool thing to go check out today. Um, I gotta actually heal up Jingle Bell Rocks. Very, very low health. 
let's go ahead over to the last species the z we got right here and i just want to see i placed these these gas collectors like 10 minutes ago so i just want to see how much gas did it already get in 10 minutes that's a lot of gas i mean i i I've, I've placed those not very long ago and so um gas should not be an issue anymore the 50 gas balls we need for every three elements so i guess really the biggest issue would be time right now which is why i don't know maybe i will uh I, i'm i'll maybe i'll just i don't know i'll figure it out um hope you guys all did enjoy this episode i very enjoyed much going to see the surface uh jingle Ball rocks is just an absolute tank was able to tank and all of those um surface kings but that actually the surface kings and how powerful they were really want me or really make me want to go uh go run down to the radiation zone and try to find a high level reaper queen to impregnate me so uh maybe that'll be something we're gonna do in the next episode or two um and just go get ourselves a high level reaper queen to impregnate us and have ourselves a reaper king because uh, that's a very interesting thing and exciting thing for me so uh ho yeah hopefully you guys did all, did all enjoy this episode i really enjoyed it uh, I hope to see you guys all in the next episode. And if you did enjoy this episode any other, or, or any other episodes, uh, please be sure to subscribe down below. We are now at like 118 subscribers, so we're growing exponentially. It's pretty awesome. Uh, not very long ago, we were at 90, so we've already grown to 20, uh, grown 20 subscribers in like a month. And uh, it's it's awesome just to see that grow. Um, so yeah, if you guys do enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below for any of the names of any of these creatures in here. They're all open to have names, changes, except Jingle Ball Rocks. That one was already uh, named by someone else, uh, Cage Fails. And so, yeah, I'm just going to let these, uh, these Spinos do their breeding for a while. The hatchery will pick up all the eggs for me. I don't have to do anything when I'm logged off. They're just going to, I'm going to get a bunch of eggs. We can come back on and eventually do a mass hatching of all of these spinos and um, do some imprinting so we can get some high-level spinos for our um, <clears throat> for the why am I blanking why am I blanking for the uh, Rockwell boss uh, so yeah uh, that's gonna be it I hope you guys all enjoyed I am going to do some more work towards element crafting and all that other stuff and I will see you guys all in the next one Bye-bye.